Yeah. New Zealand-born Ruth Park, who wrote the Muddle-Headed Wombat series of stories, died last year at the age of 93. This original play, based on her work, is for you to enjoy in the same way as children and adults all over the world have enjoyed and loved her stories. Wombat and his friends at school. Wombat is a very happy and muddle-headed animal. He lives in the big bush with his best friend, Te with his best friend Mouse and his second best friend, Tabby Cat. I'm not happy. A brilliant cat like me should have smarter friends. I need conversation. What do you mean, smarter friends? I can do hard science. I know geography and history, and I can knit and... Yes, I know, Mouse, but you are a very small animal, so no one will notice. Mouse was very upset by Tabby's comments and went off to soak. Looking for, looking for useful things like saucepan lids to bang together or old tires for bowling. But this afternoon he had found something very exciting. Oh, oh, oh! What is it, Wombat? Do you see a snake? Did you get a prickle in your in your paw? I can be the doctor. No, I'm just so excited, Bubble. I found the best thing. Mouse and Tabby looked at what Wombat had and shuddered. It was the dirtiest raggedy teddy bear anyone had ever seen. <laughs>
Back at home, Wombat put on his best new vest, and Tabby put a bow tie around his neck. Teddy was clean, so off they went to school. But meanwhile, at school, the other students were just arriving. The teacher was a very long-legged heron. Welcome to the first day of school, children. I don't want to be at school. I want my mommy. Oh, stop crying. You're such a baby. But I want mommy, too. You're both babies. Comes from eating little ants. Grow up, both of you. Look, there are some more new students. Why is everyone so sad? School is going to be great. When Tabby and Wombat arrived, Tabby took charge at once. He had practiced his best words to impress Miss Harris. Good, good morning. Tabby couldn't wait to see the drawing. He rushed over to peek. 